Hello, I am Jürgen Bellmann from Sophistic. In this video I want to show you how to create a regular cable net on a free form finding surface. Please notice at the end of the video that all cables will get the same length of 1.500 meters. I first show you the complete workflow. We mesh our system with a soap film in 3D. Then we flatten this area with our membrane cutting pattern feature. This flattened area in 2D we use to draw our regular cable mesh. Then we use a support displacement to move back the support points to the original orientation. And at the end we make some little corrections for the boundary cable to correct the orientation of the last pieces of the cable net. Because the inner cables remain with a constant length and only the cables at the end must be stressed to a constant force because they are allowed to change their length to contact correctly to the boundary cable. We start with the creation of the form finding surface. For this we use quad elements high points and low points and always a curvature at the boundary where we also have a cable. There is also a nice video from me on YouTube called Sophistic Membranes Workshop where I explain the form finding. To create the surface I use Sophie Plus and first draw the outline then the arcs on the boundary I defined as follows using the height here on the right high point and the half height in the middle. Then I copied the baseline from this point maybe one meter into the center that will be the middle of the arc. And then I copied this line half the way up from here to this point. And now I can draw a three dimensional spline from the corner of my mesh to the middle of this inner point and to the end point. And then with click and click. I really get now here the three dimensional spline on the corner. So we get the arc or spline lines of the boundary. To create now the structural areas I found out it is a good idea to draw a line from the center here maybe to the middle point of here and a line from the middle point here, maybe here to the nearest point, over snapping nearest, to maybe this point. Because here now we get a good area that has four splines on the boundary. The same I did with the other midpoints of the boundary splines. And so, as you see, I get these lines and areas of triangles and quad areas. To define the surface, we now use the command area. We use pick lines or curve and click to the four boundary splines. Before maybe you have to cut the spline on the boundary into two parts that you can click only this part of the line. Of course we also have to define the cables on the boundary. To perform the form finding 
we just have to tell our program ASE that our membrane shall get a constant pre-stress but without stiffness. Without stiffness means we would like to behave it as a soap film. The boundary cables shall get also a little pre-stress but the full stiffness so the length shall not change and maybe if we have inner cables or columns or something else we also have to define this and we perform a dead load analysis on th3 we now run the form finding and if we adapt some parameters we get a good convergence Looking to the result of the form finding, switching of the color, we now see that really our area is now flattened and we get a smooth surface and a smooth boundary. But how do we now get the constant cable net on this surface? For this we can do a cutting pattern where we do not use any additional cutting lines from AutoCut, so only a pure cutting. When we open our wind graph and look to the quad element cutting pattern result, we see that it can be flattened to 2D. If we look from the top with the original mesh, and view the settings and say we have a user-defined scale of maybe 200. We now see this is the 3D mesh and if I go to the cutting pattern mesh we see the area gets a little bit bigger and especially here in the corners, the corners if I flatten my area come a little bit more outside. Now we have a flat area on and this flat area we can draw our cable mesh. Of course we want to draw our cable net in Sophiplus and therefore we can export the cutting areas of the flattened membrane and the geodetic lines, that means here the outline boundaries, to AutoCut. Therefore in ASA there is a command syst store cutting areas. This command creates a file name of the database cutting areas in millimeter or in meter. If we look to the explorer we can find this file here as dxf and use this for the next step in Sophiplus. We best start with a new and empty Sophistic SSD project and in the Sophiplus we can now only via drag and drop copy this file dxf to the location 00 into our file. Now we can just draw our first cable net line in the direction that we want and to use the command offset of maybe 1.5 meter or 1500 millimeter and copy this line to this and to this side whatever we want to get a cable net mesh. Then we draw our cables by using the intersection for a structural line, maybe group 2 for the inner cables, from here to here, and in group number 3 for the rest of the cable from here to the boundary cable. Of course you have to pay attention maybe to such a little conflict here that the points are not so near on the boundary that is not very nice. But if we now export the system we get the following mesh in Sophistic and we see we have used the flattened cutting area and have drawn a regular mesh 
on this cutting area. And now we only have to pull the boundary points up to the correct position. How to do this? We can see here the result. We have here the form finding where we move the nodes in the corner from the cutting pattern position to the final position that we had originally. So in this module Sophie Load, I define for every corner node, maybe node 1, a given deflection WXX to WZZ, where I say here they shall move from the cutting pattern position, that was this position, to the position of the original 3D model. And with this input of a given deflection, we get this form finding. And now we really have a 3D surface where the cables are in the original length in midspan. So why are they here in the original length? Because in the ASE module, I said that the inner regular cables shall have the full stiffness and that means as they have been defined with a length of 1.5 meter they will not change their length. The pre-stress is only a little, little value to compensate the first stressing of the element. While the inner cables connecting to the boundary, they must be flexible, have no stiffness. That means they shall stay at the stress of 1.2 kN and can change their length. The boundary cables itself are quite stiff and shall again get a given radius. Of course, this result is not perfect in the beginning. Maybe here at this boundary we see that the boundary cable gets into the system a little bit too much and here we do not have any distance to the inner cables. And also maybe at uh, this position we see that the boundary cables or the little cables attaching to the boundary have not the correct direction. But that is not a problem. We can correct these points maybe here by telling the program that the node 1051 shall move a little bit upward. That means that this cable here must be shortened and this cable must get longer a bit. To make these corrections is a little bit boring and will take one or two hours, but it is not as complicated. You can define a correction in Sophie Load. Maybe here I said the group number 101, that was the first boundary cable, shall get a shortening of 400 millimeters. So the first variable that I defined here is shortening of zero. That is the element number in the group number 101. So element number 5 shall be shortened by 400 and the element 6 shall be lengthened by 400 millimeters because it is always a good idea to tell the program that if you shorten one element, the other must be lengthened by the same distance. We now see here the result. This was the first lifting into 3D and we may check this area here below. First correction, second correction. You see now the mesh looks much better after the correction and correction number three and maybe here the correction number four was this correction at this boundary cable four. This was before the correction and this after the correction. Of course, this will take two or three hours, but if you see the result, we now have a uniform regular cable net 
on a free form surface. Now at the end of the video we can check the cable length. Therefore we open our wind graph, set the structure to the deformation of load case 1 by factor 1. Okay, and if we now look to the result of the cable relaxed cable length and look into the inner part of our system, we see that really the cable length are 1.5 meter. We can also go to the properties and to the line representation. Please show me all lines inside and you really see all cables have the length of 1.500 meters on the deformed free surface. So thanks for listening and goodbye.